a cookie that won't be named today on Weekend at the Cottage. If this is your first time to Weekend at the Cottage, welcome. You're about to enjoy a sweet treat, part of our holiday baking series. A couple of months ago, I sent out an email to my four sisters. I said, hey, send me that one holiday cookie recipe that your friends always ask you for. And each of my sisters contributed. Today, we get to try my sister, my second oldest sister, Maria's fabulous cookies. Um, she most reminds me of my mom. When she sent her recipe to me, uh, it was kind of vague, which is the way my mother used to operate. Things like place a package of apricots in a pot. How many apricots? Add some water. How much water? Uh, thankfully, I've had a chance to work through this recipe. I think I've nailed it. Uh, and let's begin. The recipe actually has no name. Maria has sent it to me. She said, no name cookies. I'm like, what? I don't know what they are. I just make them. You can call them whatever you want. Actually, if you head to Weekend at the Cottage in the next couple weeks, make sure you check out the bottom of the story. There's something that you may find very interesting there. But time is of the essence, so visit our website soon. The cookie recipe is a sandwich cookie. We're going to take two cookie halves, put them together, and in the middle we're making a beautiful apricot jam. We're then going to finish them with a bit of chocolate. We're at stovetop saucepan. I have one cup of apricots. I'm adding two cups of water. Bring it to a boil. As soon as it does, reduce to simmer and allow the apricots to plump up. They're also going to break down a little bit. I boiled mine for about 30 minutes took them off the stove, covered them, and let them cool. Then I took a potato masher and I mashed up the apricots and I'm adding two tablespoons of brown sugar, stir everything together, and set it to the side. Now we need to make the cookie dough medium-sized bowl, five cups of all-purpose unbleached flour, one cup of granulated sugar, a teaspoon of baking powder, and then Maria is requesting one sachet of vanilla sugar. I couldn't find vanilla sugar, but I did find this beautiful Italian vanilla powder. I'm adding it into the recipe and just as a tip for holiday baking, this really adds a lovely flavor. Uh, you might be surprised by how subtle yet still uh, it kind of enhances the flavor of your holiday baking. If you can find or track some down and add it to your next recipe. Once the dry ingredients are in a bowl, we're going to whisk to bring the dry ingredients together and then it's time for butter four sticks, one pound, cut into small bits. I'm adding the butter into the bowl and then hands are washed, fingers go in and we're gonna rub the butter with that flour mixture. This is kind of reminds me of making a pie dough where we need to make sure everything is perfectly blended before we add the final ingredients for the dough. Two eggs in a small bowl, little fork, whisk them together, pour the eggs in, hands go back in the bowl and we pull together this dough. It's a lot of dough. This recipe is going to yield at least least 66 cookies, which is actually double because you've got two halves to each. So what I did is I divided the dough in half, I wrapped up one half, I can make more cookies later in the week, but this first half of dough, I'm rolling it out on a floured surface, floured rolling pin, roll it out to a pretty thin uh, size because again, we're doing two cookies that are going to be sandwiched together. Once you've rolled it out to a nice even consistency, we're taking a shot glass, the smaller the better. You don't need big honking cookies for the holidays just little bite size. I then place the shot glass onto the dough, twist, 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 and these beautiful discs come away. Over to a parchment lined baking sheet. Oven is preheating to 350 degrees and the cookies go in. Maria's vague cook time of somewhere between 15 to 20 minutes. Actually, it's true. Every oven will operate differently. Find out the perfect uh, cook time for these cookies when you prepare them at home. Mine took exactly 18 minutes. Out of the oven, I allowed them to cool and now invert half of the cookies. Inverting the cookies, two spoons, I take that apricot spread and I'm adding a little dollop on each of the discs. So 33 discs, get the apricot preserved and then take the other 33, place them on top and you have a perfect cookie sandwich. Last step to the recipe, stove top, boiling water, a bowl with half a cup of chocolate. This is a dark chocolate chips. I'm adding them in and I'm going to whisk them until they melt completely. All of it has to be melted. Whisk, 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 nice and smooth. And then over to a uh, small plastic bag. We're gonna pour the chocolate in and then sharp scissors, 
the most tiniest cut right on the edge of that bag. I don't want a big uh, drip of icing, just very tiny, trim off the end, and then kind of form it into a piping bag, and now we go back and forth across the cookies. A suggestion, go right to left or left to right, whichever way, but always go in that same direction to make sure the cookies come out nice and even. When they're done, I place them into a cold room just so the chocolate can firm up nicely on top. But then, when you're ready to serve, you have these very attractive little holiday cookies with a, a very flavorful center, a chocolate coating, mmm, buttery, sugary cookie, hmm, hmm, hmm. These no-name cookies, Maria, are outstanding. Yeah. I'm not surprised having them come from you. Looking for other wonderful treats, ideas, recipes, food, drinks, entertaining ideas? Head to weekendatthecottage.com. Please subscribe to our website. Look for us on our dedicated YouTube channel. Subscribe, click for notifications, thumbs up, drop us some comments, please. And then finally, spread the holiday cheer on our social media feeds. Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. A final shout out to my beloved sister Maria, one of four very talented women who have definitely enhanced my holidays with their fabulous treats, just like this one. Mmm, Maria's no-name cookies. Thanks, Mats. I love them. Come on back and visit again soon. Fabulous. Love it, Maria. Good job.